So the other day I came across this Stack Overflow question where someone was looking to group together a number of records that were in the same table and had the same value for a particular column. So here's a Stack Overflow question, and what they're saying is that they have a table that has many values with the same name and different other information. So the way that I envision this is they have a, a table, let's say orders, that has a customer name column, and many times they're having that customer name uh, for many different records have the same value within it. So for example, Bob Smith. And what they're asking is if there's a way that they can have app sheet when the user taps one of those records show all the other records where that value is the same. So if we had an orders table that had customer name Bob Smith, they want to be able to click that record and see all the other records where Bob Smith is the name as well. So normally for something like this, what you'd probably want to do is have a different table for customers and orders so that you're not duplicating that same customer information in every single record. And when you have something like that, it also makes it a little bit more easy to navigate your data because you form a natural relationship and app sheet between those different tables. However, sometimes you're working with a sheet that doesn't belong to you, or maybe it's super simple and there's just some reason, uh, you know, that you want to just have everything in one table. So that's how we're going to look at doing this without using a ref, just using that one table and be able to navigate to other records that have the same value in a particular column. So in order to try this out, I created this very simple app. I've just got one table here called orders. And just like they said in the question, I just have a customer name uh, where we represent for every order, whoever that customer was. And I've got some sample data in over here. And you see I have two records in my sample data where the name is Bob Smith. Bob Smith right there and Bob Smith down at the bottom. So what we want to be able to do is click any record and see all the other records within the orders table where the name is the same name as that particular record. So more specifically, if I click within Bob Smith, I want to be able to see the other records that have Bob Smith as the name. All right, in order to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to use our app sheet advisor AI assistant to ask it exactly how to do this. So I can open up that here and I'm just going to ask it in plain English, how can I click an order and show all the other orders with the same customer name? I ask question. And what it's doing is suggesting that I create a deep link action with the type app, go to another view within this app, and that I use this as the expression for that particular action. So let me copy this expression and again, I'm going to go and create an app, go to another view within this app action. So actions are here. I'm going to hit plus to add a new action, create new action. I'm going to call this customer orders. And I'm going to say that I want to app go to another view within this app, just like it suggested. And then for the target, uh, I'm going to enter the expression that I copied. So I'll open this up and paste that in here. And basically what this is saying is link to a filtered view for the orders table. So the same order, the same table that we're currently working with where the customer name equals this row's customer name. So again, if I click on this action in the Bob Smith row, it's going to find all the uh, rows where the name customer name equals Bob Smith and it's gonna show them into the view that we're linking to here. So I'll go ahead and save that. I will just update this to give it a little bit better icon. So we'll look for a person icon and I'll use this one right here so that it shows that nice person icon for our customer orders and we should be good to go. I'm gonna save this. All right, now if I go back to my main view here, you see that we have this little person icon on each one of our records. So I can click that, or if you actually click into the record, it has the action up at the top there as well. So let's go look at Bob Smith. Bob Smith again has those two records. If I click the person icon for Bob Smith, you see those two different records. And again, they have different dates so that we know that they're different records for Bob Smith. And if I click on that same thing for someone like Jessica Wilson, who only has one record, we see that only one record comes up. All right, so that's a really easy way that you can group together records within a specific table. And again, 
in most cases like that, especially if you have customers and orders like that, you probably wanna set up different tables with different relationships with AppSheet. But if you have a, a very simple case like this, where you just wanna be able to group together records that are in a single table, that's a way that you can do it. And if you wanna check out our AppSheet Advisor AI Assistant that I had showed in the video, you can try that for free. Just go to appsheetadvisor.com and enter your email address down at the bottom and we'll send you instructions for installing it within a few minutes. And I'll also include a link to that website down in the description. And finally, if you wanna learn more about everything you can do with AppSheet, be sure to subscribe to this channel where we're posting new AppSheet videos every week. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and happy building.